Welcome to Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, we will discuss about a macro to insert blank rows between the records of a dataset. To insert a blank row each, in between these records here, go to the Developer tab, click on Visual Basic. To insert a new module, right click on this tree view, Insert, Module. I will name this macro as insert rows, SUB, insert rows. We need to insert the first blank row before this cell B4. For that, range, open parenthesis, double quotes, B4, double quotes, close parenthesis, dot select. Do until active cell dot value equal null now the statement to insert a new row selection dot entire row dot insert after inserting a new row the control should go to cell downwards for that active cell dot offset Open parenthesis 2, comma, 0, close parenthesis, dot select. Type in loop to close the loop. So insert rows is the name of the macro. Close the Visual Basic Editor. Click on Macros. The macro we just created, that is insert rows, is listed here. And when I execute this macro, an empty row will be inserted between each of these records here. Run. An empty row is inserted between each of these records. Now let us execute the macro for a bigger data set in a different data range. See there are more than 75 rows here. And the first blank row should be inserted before this cell E7. For that, go to the Visual Basic Editor, change the cell reference B4 to E7. Close the Visual Basic Editor, Macros, Insert Rows, Run. And an empty row is inserted between each of these records here. Now let's see how to insert two blank rows between each record of a data set. To insert two blank rows between each of these records here, go to the Visual Basic Editor. We'll copy this code, paste it here. We'll change the name of the macro to insert two rows. Change the cell reference to B4. Now copy the statement to insert a new row. Selection entire row dot insert. Paste it here. Active cell dot offset. 3 comma 0 dot select. Close the Visual Basic Editor. Macros. And here is the second macro. Insert two rows. Run and see two blank rows are inserted between each of these records here. Now the same macro for a bigger data set. Go to the Visual Basic Editor. Change the cell reference to A3. Close the Visual Basic Editor, Macros, insert two rows, run and again two blank rows are inserted between each of these 90 records here. I hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section and those who are visiting this channel for the first time, 
subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.